Hi everyone, hello, 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 and happy evening everybody. This is Crazy Callan Vlogs, and this is my second channel. I do have a main channel, which is Crazy Days of Callan, and that's where I haul for the Dollar Tree, um, and from the Dollar Tree for you guys on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And over here on my second channel, this is just me having downtime with you guys and showing you my everyday life. So today, I am just showing you what I got for Thanksgiving. I have already previously done an Aldi's haul that had Thanksgiving items in it that I purchased um, like a week and a half to almost two weeks ago. I think roughly maybe around that time frame anyways. And now there are some new things in the mix as well. And I just decided to jump on to kind of go through everything and just tell you what my idea is of tomorrow cooking and putting things together. So let's hit it. This really isn't a haul. It's just kind of showing you what we're doing. So I got some strawberries to cut up fresh and nice for like a little fruit bowl. We got a big old bag of grapes. All these things came from Aldi. I got the butter that we needed that salted from Aldi. So um, the guys cook a lot over the week and I needed a brand new package that's also an Aldi's product and then I got some baby carrots which I love to soften up in a nice pan and then put a little bit of butter glaze on them and then I got this Sara Lee pumpkin pie with a spice in it and this is in the frozen fruit uh, food section this was less than five dollars and this is the only pie that I got for this year because none of us are really you know we're not really doing a lot of desserts or anything like that even though it will look like we're going to but I have a lot of neighbors that we like to give little baskets to and stuff but I'll show you that on the other table um, I did get this mild deli cheese right here because Richie's going to cook some breakfast in the morning and he needed some cheese slices for what he is going to make and then uh, let's uh, walk over to the kitchen table where I kind of put everything so that I could make sense of what I have already and what I needed to go purchase and pick up. The turkey is also already in the refrigerator, but right here is all of like the paper products and that one right there is a bowl that I've had forever in a day that I'm going to make a trail mix inside of. So all of these things I picked up from the Dollar Tree over time, except for that's a really, really old bowl from you know just previous years of having it just got some bags of chips just so that everybody could pretty much just you know just put around eat a couple of chips with some pickles on a tray just to wait you know for dinner to be done if they wanted to just munch a little bit then i did go back and get some turkey stuffing because i forgot that I had purchased a chicken originally. I think that I showed you that in the Aldi haul when I first did it. There's some gravy right there. There is the cream of mushroom soup to make the green bean casserole um, and some plastic silverware so that I don't have to do a mess of dishes. I am really loving that I just do pans and paper plates, cups, and all that stuff so that it doesn't have to be a lot of fuss all day like I used to do it. We're getting older around here. We like to keep it simple. Then there's the mashed potatoes right there. We're just going to make that kind because not a lot of us can eat, um, you know, a lot of carby, starchy stuff. So we're just going to do the garlic, uh, roasted garlic mashed potatoes and just mix those up really fast. That's the bag of French fried onions that's going to go in the green bean casserole. Um, so there are all the cans of the green beans the cream of mushroom and that so that will complete that couple of different cranberry sauces um there are those cookies that i hauled from the dollar tree the other day that i'll put out on a a platter because that's a good like coffee style you know cookie to have with some tea even tea or coffee so those are really really nice european cookies and they're lemon shortbread so I was excited about that. Then I got some apples that I can cut up and put with like the fruit tray. There is the bag of onions. And right here, I did pick up just some fully cooked bacon from Aldi's as well. And I grabbed two boxes of that because he's going to make pan. It's going to kind of be like a McGriddle. So he's going to make pancakes. 
he he's gonna make a McGriddle, you know what I'm I mean he's calling it a Richie griddle, that's what he's saying. So I grabbed this pancake mix from Aldi's as well. And then he's gonna put some bacon slices in it. The eggs are in the refrigerator. I picked those up from Aldi already. And then the slices of cheese that I showed you on the other counter, so that that could be like a little breakfast before the food in the afternoon. I did find this friends, this friends brand of a turkey hat from the show and this was at walmart this morning when i went to go get a new water jug and this was only 198 on clearance and they put it right in the front so that i could find it right away and i'm excited about that because we will be wearing that for pictures tomorrow i think that's hysterical um and then i'm gonna make a trail mix because you know, I can't have all the bakey, fancy stuff. I can't do the pumpkin pie and all that. But I can definitely do some trail mix. And I eat that fairly often for a snack. So I picked up this bag of cashews um, that are honey roasted. Then I grabbed this bag of almonds, which is oven roasted as well. I picked up that larger size M&M bag from Aldi's some raisins, some dried sweetened cranberries, and I picked up sunflower seed kernels that are roasted and salted. So I'm gonna put those all in that big bowl over there that I showed you that I've had forever in a day, and I'm gonna make a big, huge trail mix so that people can just take a scoop full with a little scoop and put it in a bowl and have it for just like a little snack while we're sitting around. Then we have the oven, uh, bags for the turkey to go in inside of the oven. <laughs> I am so tired. I have shoved all of my cleaning jobs into just three days. And then I've come home and tackled my house every single day. Been grocery shopping, laundry up the wazoo, um, running from the first floor to the second floor to the third floor like 90 times this week, getting things straightened out and put away and organized and Christmas stuff downstairs. I am so exhausted. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to Thanksgiving tomorrow. So that will be like, you know, a surprise if I actually am awake for tomorrow. <laughs> then I got this... Um, Sure, fresh pre-cut stuff that I showed you guys in a haul from the Dollar Tree so that I could bake on it. And then the parchment squares, which I think is really cool because it will separate like the baked goods so that they don't stick together. And now for this stuff right here, we're going to make cornbread instead of rolls because Isaiah loves cornbread more than anything he loves cornbread so I'm gonna make that instead of rolls at least he can have that and Richie's okay with a little cornbread too um the perfectly pumpkin from Pillsbury I'm gonna make some cookies and share them with my neighbors I've already talked to them several times this week they might stop over for dessert later in the evening and then the blueberry muffins with just add milk and I did get milk I thought I was gonna forget it and then I went back and I picked up a milk that's in the fridge already. I got a 1% milk, I think it is. And then Pillsbury gingerbread cookie mix. So I'm going to make those so that some cookies can be on a platter for the neighbors. And the banana nut bread um, that just add milk. So I kind of just set everything out so I could figure out if I needed to go back to the store and run and go get some more stuff if I remembered everything, but this is pretty much Thanksgiving. The bird, the eggs, and the milk are in the fridge, as well as my applesauce that I forgot to take out and show you guys. I eat applesauce with everything. Um, and there are my beloved olives. I cannot have anything without olives either, so <sighs> this is it, and this is the holidays around here. Um, so I'm excited for the trail mix, honestly, more than anything. I really am excited for the trail mix because I know I can eat it. And I'm looking forward to that. I don't really enjoy turkey. 
Um, I can't really eat mashed potatoes too, too much. So I'll just have like a little dollop of that. I'll definitely have a little dollop of the green bean casserole on my plate and probably just a lot of trail mix tomorrow. My mother made me laugh earlier. She's like, I know you really want to stop Thanksgiving. Um, she's like, I was laughing about it to my friend Marie on the phone. You know, she's like, so many of us have so many different eating you know, restrictions and stuff. And probably tomorrow, Richie's going to be drinking a ton of coffee. You're going to be eating raisins. Isaiah doesn't like turkey. So he's just going to stuff his face with cornbread and chips. <laughs> and she said, and we're going to graze on like, you know, uh, some cookies and tea. <laughs> so I have all of this and whatever doesn't get eaten, gets packed up, sent home with my mom and my dad usually, and some leftovers for the guys to take to work. Richie likes the whole meal, so he'll be fine. And Isaiah will eat it too, but he, he'll he eat it one plate and then he's done and he won't touch it again. So that's what's going on. And boy, oh boy, do I love my paper plates because I remember the days of just constantly doing dishes and standing at that sink for the whole entire Thanksgiving um, and not even eating until later so that I could just rest and eat when it was quiet. I would just continue to work through the holidays and I haven't done that for a long time. So I am slowly every year scaling back just a little bit more on how much work I do and how much enjoyment I get to have. I love the parade. So I'm so excited for the parade tomorrow. I'm also excited um, in the afternoon for football to start because that's when everything quiets down around here and everybody kind of just sits and relaxes. And then I'm really excited for the flyers and the newspaper because I just love to flip through the flyers, even though we don't need anything. That's what my family and I always used to do, you know, in the evenings is go through the flyers, make plans and stuff for different stores for shopping. And it's just like a nostalgic thing for me. So we'll play games and just hang out with each other. And that is what is going to happen. So let me move back over here. And so this is the last of it. There are my wonderful, wonderful pans as well from the Dollar Tree that are ready to go for tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys. Everybody in my house is very thankful um, for everybody's involvement in our lives in any way, shape, or form. And you're all loved over here. So Happy holidays to you guys, and I will see you guys on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Hall over on Crazy Days of Callan. Love you, everyone. Have a beautiful day tomorrow. Bye.